Hello everyone, my name is Sid and today I wanted to talk about why you should be cruelty free. I believe it is important for everyone as a society to be cruelty free because as people, if we do not buy into something, companies are powerless. What does being cruelty free mean? Being cruelty free means that you do not buy anything that has been tested on animals. So it is refraining from buying any cosmetic products, shampoos, makeup, skincare, all of that. You do not buy it if the company has tested on animals. Why do companies animal test? According to humanesociety.org, some companies conduct tests on animals to assess the safety of new ingredients. They don't want to be testing things on humans, so companies test things on animals. However, this is not a necessary practice. With 41 countries having full or partial bans on animal testing, the United States is not among them. It is still perfectly accepted to animal test in America, but it is not legally required that companies do test. Companies just choose to. According to ASBMB.org, a growing number of techniques that can replace animal experience have been developed in recent decades. In addition to being more humane than research on animals, these alternatives often produce results that predict human health outcomes equally well. Human cell lines, organoid systems, and computational methods are the three most promising new technologies. Human cell lines and organoid systems are parts of human or other organism cells. So they are using human cells so that they don't have to use it on live animals. Computational methods, I believe that just means math. So they are using calculations to understand outcomes so that they don't have to test it. Some will argue that animal testing is required because animals share a very similar DNA. So it is practical to use animal blood to test things for humans. Also, according to ASBMB.org, in addition to saving animals, these new techniques often predict human health outcomes better than animal models because they use human cells or data. Even though humans and the animals used as scientific models share a large percentage of their DNA, small genomic differences can have considerable effects. So because you are using human cells, it produces a much more accurate data system than using animal cells. According to humanesociety.org, 500,000 animals suffer and die worldwide every year in cosmetic tests. I have also seen the number 115 million worldwide every year. According to Haaretz.com, only 3% of animals survive lab experiments. But what are these experiments? According to DownToEarth.com, animals endure chemicals being dripped into their eyes, injected into their bodies, forced up their nostrils, or forced down their throats. They are addicted to drugs, forced to inhale slash ingest toxic substances, subjected to maternal deprivation, deafened, blinded, burned, stapled, and infected with disease viruses. So 3% of lab animals survive these practices. Rabbits, mice, and rats are the most commonly animals that are tested on in labs. However, guinea pigs and beagles are also subjected to these practices. So how do you become cruelty free? Well, first you need to look at everything in your bathroom, look at what the company is and see if they do test on animals. 
Never look at the company's website to confirm if they do or do not test on animals. Companies can find loopholes to tell you that they are cruelty-free, but are actually not. Websites like Cruelty Free Kitty and Ethical Elephant are both very reliable sources on finding companies that are and are not cruelty free. They will tell you if there are third parties involved, if the products are sold in China, if the parent company is cruelty free and things like that. If something you own is not by a cruelty free company, you can search for alternatives that are cruelty free. If you see something on a bottle of shampoo or toothpaste or anything like that, and it says that the product is cruelty free, again, don't trust it blindly. You need to look into the company to see if it is or is not because companies can use words like, we do not test on animals and maybe they don't, but there may be a third party involved that tests on animals for them. If you see this symbol, it is the PETA certified symbol and it is not always reliable. You should still look on Ethical Elephant or Cruelty Free Kitty to see if the company is or is not cruelty free. If you see this symbol, you probably are good to go and you don't need to research because Leaping Bunny is international and nothing really gets past them. They will make sure that they are certifying companies that are cruelty free. I also just want to say that cruelty free is a very different thing from vegan. Vegan means that the product is not associated with animals in any way, whether that's the ingredients or how the product was made. Cruelty free is just strictly not tested on animals in a lab. I will quickly name some companies that are cruelty free as of 2021. Elf, Glossier, Urban Decay, NYX Professional Makeup, Too Faced, CoverGirl. Now here are some companies that are not cruelty free and you should avoid or throw out products that you have. NARS, Wet n Wild, Physicians Formula, Charlotte Tilbury, Revlon, by Terry, Eve Lum, Mary Kay, Mac, Elemis, and these are all on Cruelty Free Kitty. Also avoid Neutrogena and L'Oreal. Those are some big ones. You should also avoid Crest and Colgate. Those are not cruelty free. A cruelty free toothpaste that you can use is Hello. Going cruelty-free can be a gradual process or a very fast one. It just depends on your comfort zone. A YouTuber I would really recommend you check out to help you because she helped me is Kelly Gooch. I really hope I'm saying her name right. That is all for today, everyone. I hope you really think about this and weigh the pros and the cons and decide what you would like to do. These companies will be nothing without us. So in order to stop this, which we have the power to do so, we need to stop buying these products. I am not trying to point fingers. Most of us have not been cruelty free up until recent years. It is time to shed light on this so that other people do not make the same mistake. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.